Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Pisces. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So Pisces, let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy. Guidance for Pisces, please. Guidance for Pisces, that card there. For the week ahead, please, Spirit, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Guidance for Pisces. Guidance for Pisces. Spirit, please bring through the messages that Pisces need to hear right now for the week ahead. Guidance for Pisces. Card there. Your energy Pisces and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. We have the Ace of Summer. Open your heart to love Pisces. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. So relationships are taking a focus this week, Pisces, relationships. And I'm seeing not only the relationships to the people you have around you, but also to the people that have passed over. There is an energy here of someone who's passed over Pisces, who's around you currently and your angel in heaven, they do hear you. They hear you. So you may have been speaking to them and they hear you. They want you to know that. So relationships to the people that are here currently in your life, as well as passed over loved ones, very much a focus this week. And this card goes on to say the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Yes. So perhaps you have been waiting for a sign from your passed over loved one. And this week, for some of you, going to get that sign. Awakening to psychic abilities. Some of you are working on your spiritual abilities, your psychic abilities. And so you're going to get some reward. You're going to get some positive feedback uh, this week, if that's what you are focused upon. And of course, intimate relationships with a lover, someone close to you in that respect, there may be a new relationship here for some of you and uh, maybe a healing of an old relationship for others. But you are open to experience and that is the most important thing. Your heart is open to experience this newness and that's a really beautiful place to be in Pisces. Let's take a look at your next card. We have the dolphin spirit. This is a spirit of joy and happiness and having fun and being in the moment, Pisces, you're going to be in the moment. And it says on this card, this and that are true. So you're going to be seeing different sides of the coin this week. You're going to be having a much deeper understanding of someone else's situation. Not only looking at things and feeling things from your own perception, but you're seeing it from another person's perception and how they see things and their vision of things. And so you're, you, there's a beautiful balance that's coming in here in this relationship. You're also adding information to someone else's worldview. They're saying one thing and you can appreciate what they're saying. But you're going to be bringing in a different take on the matter. And that's going to be very helpful for this partnership to move forward. An energy of letting go is around you, Pisces, as well. And it says here on this card, release the desire to control this situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. You must let go of wanting to control Pisces. Let things flow. 
things are going to work in your favor things are going to work out in this relationship or in this union or this partnership whether it's love or whether it's work related or a family member perhaps but things will work out in this relationship in the long run and spirit wants you to know that but you have to let go first maybe let go of the hurts and the pain let go of how it used to be because that doesn't have to be how it is currently it doesn't definitely doesn't have to be how it is in the future you're having to let something go that is dear to your heart pisces and also that message of someone in heaven there's a, a someone watching over you and there's an energy here of letting them go as well letting them go so perhaps this has been a recent passing of this loved one and you are healing there's an energy of letting go and spirit wants you to know and they want you to know your past over loved one wants you to know that they are absolutely fine they are in peace we have the peace dove here they're in a beautiful place let's take a look at this card here we have the energy of bronze strengthen your body this is a message that your loved one wants to bring through to you and your guides and your angels strengthen your body you've got to look after your body this week pisces feed it the best foods exercise resist temptations strengthen your body very important this week we have the three of swords so there has definitely been some heartache around you but an awareness has come from this heartache an awareness has come from this situation that you're having to let go of you're understanding that there is a balance that's coming into play and you are strengthening from this difficulty the two of swords there's an in, an indecision or an indecisiveness that's happening here pisces you're wanting to block or you're wanting to say I'm seeing you're sitting in your position, not willing to move, you know, but spirit is saying it's important to bring in joy to this situation or this partnership, or this dolphin energy, bring in the light, bring in joy, open your heart. As this first card says here, open your heart to love and the beginning of newness. There is an end because we have the energy of letting go, but Pisces, there's also a new beginning. You don't need to stay in this indecisive state. You can flow and move with the energy. And we have the Knight of Cups. This may be an offer of love or a job offer or something coming towards you that you were hoping for, but it looked like it didn't follow through or it hasn't come through yet. It doesn't mean that it's not going to come through for you. It just means it hasn't come through yet. But look at this energy. This is beautiful. We have the Ten of Cups. And this is contentment and being happy in your family, your work environment. Um, ultimately, there's a newness that's coming to your, there's a newness that's coming to your heart and your emotions. But there's having, you're having to let go first or there's a, been a block here or a, stagnation some difficulty pisces some difficulty and we have the three of pentacles building up a solid foundation for yourself working together with heart in harmony with others or with another you're becoming very skilled at a task you're learning from this experience of letting go whatever that is to you personally this is strengthening of your body and when it comes to your emotions and the heartache or the block or the um, disappointment that may have happened here because you were expecting love or an offer or something positive to come through ultimately there is going to be a positive ending here the ten of cups indicates that but you're having to go through some heartache now 
and learn from that and open up your heart to the new experiences that are coming through and to build again, to build up again your strength physically, yes, but also mentally and emotionally. So you've got very powerful reading here for you, Pisces, this week. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.